Great. You've got a business, you're ready to go. You need to log on to the Google Business Profile to look at Google reviews, get more reviews, update your details, and you don't know the password or the login credentials. So this comes up quite often. I've seen lots of people on Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter who have taken over a new business and they just cannot get onto Google Business Profile, which is obviously a really important thing. So let's walk you through the steps of how to do that. There's a few methods you can follow. Um, it can take a bit of time. If you don't get a quick hit and you're sort of in that support of Google methodology, that can take a few weeks. So that's probably the worst case scenario is a few weeks. The best case scenario could be a couple of minutes. So let's walk through the steps and see how we can get you there. So this is what you want to be able to do is, is get your Google business profile under your command. You want to see this. You manage this business profile. That's what you want down there. So you can get in there. Do all the things that Google Business Profile is great for. I won't go through why it's effective. I'm, I'm sure you know by now if you run a local business or a business that visits people in a certain area, Google Business Profile is an incredibly effective way to get leads to your business. It outstrips websites in lots of instances. But anyway, you probably know all of that stuff. That's why you want to get onto it, but you can't. Okay, let's go through the steps. So the first thing you should do is kind of a little bit kept and obvious, but is just go into the business email that you've got and look around and see if it's somewhere. There might be an old folder in the business email that was things to keep or Gmail details or Google details. Have a good look through all the folders and all the emails that are associated with the business and just see what you can find because it's amazing how often that is there. The business owner who you bought the business from or have taken over from might not even remember that, but they've got it there somewhere because they thought, at the initial step, oh, this could be important to keep. So try that out and see what you've got. Or there might even be another email account that's associated with the business that it's through there and you might be able to recover that with the password recovery options. So sometimes it is as easy as looking at the, the current email addresses that are there, logging on with those and then going to business.com at google.business.com to find out if it's logging you straight in and then you'll be able to go up and see that you've logged straight on and it looks like this. However, you're probably not, you've probably thought of that already. So let's move on to the next step. If you've thought of that, this is the next step, which for some people is uh, challenging. However, if you've bought a business or taken a business over, you probably have quite a good relationship or a working relationship, or at least you can talk to the people that you've taken over from. And you just have to log out and reach out to them and say, hey, um, I need to get access to this Google business profile. It's a critical part of the business, obviously. Uh, you do have a Google business profile running for the business. Any ideas? Um, do you have any documents you've got about passwords and things? Can I look through that? Could you share it with me? Because that sometimes, we've come across one, for example, where the business owner actually did have that, but had totally forgotten because they'd set this up 10 years ago, sold the business, and really genuinely couldn't remember. But some digging found those details for them. Now, if the people aren't responsive to you, so let's just say that you've bought the business, uh, they're walking away from the communication, they really don't want anything to do with it, I would suggest you document the steps you've taken. So, hey, I emailed the owner this day, no response, rang them this day, document that in a Google Doc or whatever you use, so that if you do have to go to Google support later on down the path, you've got some evidence that you've made an attempt, and once you get to a human from Google actually reviewing the case, they'll be able to see that you're the business owner, you've made an attempt, and they should be able to walk you through that process. Because remember, Google does want you to access this. They really want people to use Google Business Profile because it's a way for them to keep people on Google using the suite of products and potentially upsell into ads. So it is a critical part of their product suite at the moment. All right, let's move on. So Google Recovery Options. Now, this page is really useful. Now, just going to go back one step. If you look up, let's say this is your business, a cafe nearby me. I've just Googled it there. This is on normal Google search. So just use normal Google search. You search for them. You'll see their Google business profile comes up if you do a fairly accurate name search. So don't do cafe near me, do the actual business name. And you might see right down here, own this business. I'm going to assume you've tried that. But that is a way we've seen work. People simply Google the business name they see the Google Business Profile come up as the top option, 
and that own this business tab is there. Now, if you click on that, you'll see this. It'll pop up in a second. It'll say, hey, it's currently managed by blah, blah, blah. Boom, request access. I'm going to assume you've probably tried that option. So that's um, not in play for you at the moment, but it's definitely worth trying that as well. So that's probably the very first step after you've looked around inboxes in the business. Now, if you've tried the other steps and you want to get in touch with Google now because you're thinking, okay, we simply don't have the details. We don't have the email address. We can't recover that email address. We can't get on. We're going to have to get Google involved. So that's when you can go to this page here. There is a Google Business Profile support page, support.google.com slash business. So if you click on that, you will see this page here, Google Business Profile Help. It's actually quite useful. So if you get on there, you'll see there's a whole bunch of options that come up all the time. Verify your business and get started. Get started with all of these things. So if you go through there, you'll be able to find some help as well. So update your business info on Google is the one. So that's step one. Describe your issue in detail and they'll help walk you through those steps. Now, I want to raise this issue here as well, which is sometimes it goes backwards and forwards quite a few times. A lot of the time when you're dealing with Google for things like this, there's a lot of automated responses. So they'll say, oh, have you tried this? And they'll send you to this page here. Or have you tried this? And they'll send you to this page here. In fact, this page is quite useful. If you just Google request ownership of a business profile, that page is quite useful. That's got this little guy here. Go to business.google.com backslash add and you'll see this one. So you type your business name and then it'll give you an option to claim it. So try that one as well. However, back to the point here is that sometimes you're going backwards and forwards with Google and a human hasn't actually read the information you've provided they're still sending you through automated process because the reality is Google is enormous and there's probably millions of problems every day with Google. So very smart. They try to automate things as much as they can. That's why the Google business profile help support.google.com is very, very good. It really is because they're trying to help you to solve it yourself so they don't have to involve a human. But the point I'm trying to make here is you might think you're engaged with a human, but you're not. There might be emails that are coming to you which are pre-written and they're hoping you can figure it out yourself but you can't so keep persisting sometimes it takes four five six seven interactions before a human actually reviews it and then they go okay this seems pretty obvious that this person is the owner okay now let's go back to here preventing future access issues obviously once you've gone through this process you want to make sure you keep your details and you've got them secure. So maybe create a folder in your Gmail or the business Gmail that says passwords, recovery, important info, whatever it might be. Let's just go through the steps again. Step one, check for anything you've already got. You've taken the business over. You've got some email addresses for that business. Check if any of those work. Log in, log out, log in, log out. See if you can log on to an email and then go to business.google.com and see if you quite simply see this and that you manage this business profile. So do that. Step two, talk to the previous owners. Step three, use Google's recovery options. They really are good. There's plenty of information there and um, you'll find that they can often get you through to the end without too much, too many problems. And then if you have to contact Google support, go through this page here. Google Business Profile Help. It's a very, very good page. Lots of information there. And they can normally see you right. Now, of course, if that's not solved your problem, before you contact us or comment below for help, because we're happy to do that for you. We're happy to walk you through or clarify, because sometimes these how-to videos don't cover everybody's circumstances. For example, this one here. Sometimes you'll simply go there and find the business, but you don't see this own this business hyperlink there. Sometimes it's there. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes you need to go through on the phone. Sometimes you need to search it up on maps instead of normal Google search. So I acknowledge that it's different for each person. You normally, once you've submitted a request for help, it will take a while. So just wait a couple of weeks, be patient. And if that hasn't helped, come back to myself, my team, and we'll see if we can help you as well. Because sometimes 
uh, there's something you've missed or there's a step you've missed or there's something we can see that you can't. So if that's the case, just pop, pop a comment below and we'll see if we can get back to you and give you a hand as well. All right, hopefully that process helps. If there's anything else you need to ask, pop it below and we'll get back to you. Thanks for your time. Bye for now.